Hey guys, we are back, back with a new video wherein you learn how do you configure dynamic NAT on Cisco routers. So as you have seen in the previous video, we've seen how do you configure static NAT on Cisco router and this video is for dynamic NAT. Why dynamic NAT? So for that you need to know the disadvantages of static NAT. Disadvantage number one. As you have seen in the previous video, for each device, you need to configure a dedicated public IP. I repeat, for each device, you need to configure a dedicated public IP. Thus, it is much time consuming to type so many commands for each device. Hence, a better option is dynamic NAT. The word dynamic means automatic. That means the process now is automated. That means it will be running in the background without human intervention. So how will it be possible? You create a pool of public IPs. You create a pool of public IPs on the boundary device. In our case, it is R2. So we will create a pool of public IPs on the boundary device R2. R1 and R4, as you can see, are devices in the LAN. R3 is router on the WAN. That means it may be the ISP or the service provider. In the diagram, you can notice well, R1 has the IP 192.168.1.1. R2 is 192.168.1.2. R4 is 192.168.1.3. Also, R2 on the WAN interface is 200.0.0.2 and R3 is 200.0.0.1. So now, R1 and R4, whenever they try to go out, they will be assigned a random IP from the pool that you have configured. A random IP, whichever IP is free, will be given to R1 and R4 when they try to go out. So the entire process is automated. Let's see how. So now if I go on my boundary device, which is R2, I say IP NAT pool. That means I am defining a pool whose name is ABC. And I say the pool is starting from 200.0.0.51 up to 60 simply 10 IPs also you need to specify is the net mask now I create an access list if in case you guys do not have much idea about access list you can always type in the comment we will upload a detailed video of how do you configure access list so for now I create an access list whose number will be one saying permit the inner subnet which is 192.168.1.0 followed by the wildcard mask because as you know you need to configure or you need to specify the wildcard mask whenever you configure an access list if you have no clue you can simply say question mark now it says that you need to specify the wildcard widths so the wildcard for slash 24 will be 0.0.0.255 the next command now i say ip nat inside source list one pool abc what does this mean whenever the inside device tries to go out whenever the inside device tries to go out change its source ip give it a new public ip from the pool whose name is abc and the pool has been defined before list one that means you are calling the access list which has been created earlier so it was created here but 
called over here the function has been called down now my boundary device has two interfaces 0 slash 0 is the LAN interface so I will have to say IP NAT inside because it is the LAN interface you can see a bit of errors but it is not some wrong configuration but it is only some errors of my laptop so simply avoid this now the next interface is 0 slash 1 and this interface is the WAN interface hence we need to specify IP NAT outside since it is the WAN interface so that's it guys just three or four commands and we're done time to verify now if I try to telnet 200.0.0.1 that means the outer world so it's trying as you can see it is asking me for the password which has been set on the outside router so I say the password and see once when the password is correct you get console of router R3 now if I come back on my boundary device and say show IP NAT translation it shows me that 192.168.1.1 has been assigned the IP 200.0.0.51 and here it is guys just if I scroll up you would be able to see that the starting value of the pool was 51 and now if I go back down you will see that it has been assigned the first IP which was available in the pool just in case you need to cross verify just in case you need to cross verify we may also go on R4 and try to telnet the same router R3 So it will show you that 192.168.1.3 which is R4 has been assigned the second IP in the pool which is 200.0.0.52. Hence it is verified that you will be assigned IPs automatically or you may say dynamically from the pool. Whichever IP is free. A random IP is assigned to you every time you try to go out. That's it guys for this video. If you have any feedback, please feel free to comment. And yes, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Meet you soon.